This video is entitled Ordered Lists, Unordered Lists, and Nested Lists, and is a companion to the book So You Want to Learn to Use HTML and CSS, Chapter 7. I'm uh, James Renault, Ph.D., a professor at Shawnee State University, and I'll be taking you through this presentation. In this video, I'm going to introduce the HTML tags for creating an ordered list, which is a list with numbers, and an unordered list, which is a list with bullets, and how to properly nest one list inside of another list to kind of create a, an outline. Let's start by looking at the ordered list. The OL tag starts the ordered list, OL, and you can see that the OL tag, the close OL tag, is used to close the ordered list. Items within an ordered list and an unordered list are in the LI tag, and you can think of the LI tag as list items. So you can see that an order list contains zero or more list items. Notice that list items start and close before the next list item starts and closes, before the next item starts and closes. So you can see that an OL tag can contain multiple list items. Ordered lists are numbered. That's why they're called ordered lists, because they have an order to them and their order is, is important. You can change the numbering style from the default numbering style with CSS. This presentation doesn't go into that, but you can always look that up. The unordered list works just like ordered list, but instead of being inside an OL tag, open and close, it's inside a UL tag, open and close, UL, unordered list. Really easy to remember. It still contains list items, though, just like an ordered list does. The uh, bullets, that will be displayed can be changed with uh, style, and you'll just need to look up the styles to change the bullets. You can even change the bullets to uh, little pictures and all kinds of other, other kinds of things can be done to an unordered list. Sometimes it becomes necessary to put a list inside another list. Maybe you've got a, a point and you want sub points, or you've got a, a numbered list and you want sub bullets, or maybe you've got bullets inside of bullets. Um, and that's perfectly appropriate. Be sure that your sub list, your sub ordered list, or unordered list, or definition list, which you'll see in a future presentation. Um, are inside the list item. So you can see in the example above that I have an ordered list with item one. I then have an ordered list with item two that contains a sublist. The sublist is inside the LI of the second item so that it then is a, a child of and part of that second item. Don't be tempted to put the ordered list or the sublist as just another list item. That's not right. It's got to be inside a list item instead of at the same level. So here is a simple HTML example using that uh, ordered list with the unord nested unordered list from the from the previous slide and you can see what it looks like up above this concludes the brief introduction to ordered lists unordered lists and properly nested lists i'd like to uh, say thank you this presentation is copyright 2020 by James Imrano, PhD. All rights are reserved. You can contact me at jim at renejm.com if you have any questions, comments, errors, um, suggestions. This work is licensed under Creative Commons Attribution, non-commercial, share alike, 4.0 international license. And again, thank you for watching.